All right, you were traded here before Manny and Maddox. How has the chemistry of this team evolved since you got here? Uh, it's evolved quite a bit, and just with talking to some some other guys in the team, they said it's it's changed dramatically. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's it's tough for a, a clubhouse to to bring in two or three new guys, and uh, you know, and then try to try to discover who you are as a team. You know, but uh, Manny. Manny's just brought uh, incredible um, looseness to to the team, you know, and he's just he's just like a little kid uh, walking around talking, having fun, and uh, he's he's been he's been a, a great to, to play with day in and day out. It was a young team before you got here, a lot of young guys who hadn't spent a lot of time in the major leagues. Now you throw yourself Manny and Maddox. Do you find that those young guys are coming to the veterans for a little bit of leadership? Um, yeah, slowly but surely. You know, I think uh, it's going to take a little time, but uh, these guys are there's some unbelievable talent on this team. Um, you know, Matt Kemp, Andre Ethier, uh, Russell Martin, those guys are are uh, going to be superstars, you know. And, uh, you know, anything that, that, that we can do, um, you know, to help those guys along. And, you know, we're, we're always here for, uh, for anything, any questions they have or you know, whatever. That's that's part of the reason we were brought over here. You know, to have a little bit of that presence and uh, anything we can do to help. You come over from the American League. Have you noticed an adjustment? People talk about that adjustment that they have to make. You had to do it in mid-season. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Um, you know, I I really believe that the pitchers nowadays more than ever just pitch to a, a scouting report. Um, you know, I really haven't seen, you know, I heard that, you know, you get more fastballs in this league, but I think that the biggest adjustment is just uh, trying to get to know who you're facing, and, and uh, you don't know a whole lot about them. You haven't faced them too many times, and that's that's the hardest thing is just not having that information that, that you'd like to have uh, up there, which makes it a little uneasy, but uh, you kind of have to, to, you know, just study quick. How has a guy who grew up in the Midwest, played college ball there and pro ball there, adjusted to life in Los Angeles? Yeah, uh, it's, it's a little faster pace out there, but, uh, you know, the, the people, the fans have been, been great. Um, the, the team and coaches have been outstanding, uh, welcoming, me, welcoming the new guys with open arms. But uh, it's definitely different, uh, just a different life out there, but uh, different than what I'm used to played against many Joe Torre teams how is it to play under him oh it's great you know um, I've always had the utmost respect for him and just the way he handles himself and the players and and uh, just heard a lot of great things about him and uh, they, they stand true I mean he's uh, he's just a, a solid guy uh, uh, real down to earth um, and uh, you know he, he believes in his guys hi I'm Tony Clark Players Talk is brought to you by the Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America, who urge you to get involved in your community. Thanks for watching.